Hey, David. Uh, I enjoyed your video about that drum. That's really very interesting. Um, I, I didn't I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing because I'm in the car and it's a little difficult to see so I got the top down and I was bending over but when I get back home I'll, um, or if I get inside I want to see what that's about one of the guys that works at our shop John Vaness was a worked for a Peisty symbol company for, I think for ooh, a couple years and then after that he went to work for a well-known American drum company called uh, Drum Workshop, and you might see DW on the front of drums, sort of the, I don't want to say Rolls Royce, but it, yeah, real, real high-end drums that you'll see, you know, a lot of artists using, and he worked for them. He's going to be intrigued with this. I wonder if he's ever seen it. I'd love to know what the name of it is, or um, where you got it, and how you came about uh, learning about it, and that would be interesting. Um, and you know what? I like your perspective on, on uh, solving a problem. You're right. It was a problem for both him and you. And I wonder what took him so long with 15 months, you know? Did he get some gigantic order from another company that he needed to fulfill? And he just put you down as just uh, somebody that stumbled upon him? Or did he come into financial problems? Uh, who knows? Did he lose interest and have to take another job? and just want to forget about you. A lot of people do, uh, you know, they make commitments and they uh, set intentions. And as we both know, Dave, what is it? The word, the path to hell is paved with good intentions. And it's very true because uh, no one cares about anyone's intentions. I am enjoying my Thursday. Thank you very much. I uh, went to Planet of the Apes this morning, uh, did some exercise, got in the convertible, drove up to a little town called Colchester and bought some, oops, there it is right down there, some Russian pumpernickel bread. It's uh, interesting. It's uh, They use a black caraway seed on the bread. Now, pumpernickel breads, yeah, you can get that anywhere, at just about any store. This bread is so unique that restaurants in the area would literally mentioned on their uh, menu that the sandwich could could be made with Colchester Bakery Russian pumpernickel bread and if you saw this bakery David it's about um, 20 feet by 40 feet long family owned Russian Jews in a very small town it's just a total anomaly called Colchester Colchester Bakery I guess you, you can find it online too they even said you can order the bread online, but I doubt it. Now, I'm going to upload this thing using 4 LTE light. Uh, we just got that in our area, and since you know I just got the iPhone 5, I'm going to see if I can upload a video to YouTube out in the field. So this is going to be interesting, or treacherous for you. <laughs> Thanks, David. I'm going to talk to you soon and respond uh, more deeply to the message you sent me. Thank you.